Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand that difference or we will compare the three SAP systems. One is ECC system, one is SOX system and one is S4X system. We will understand the difference between these three SAP systems. Suppose in the previous videos, we are always talking about that you can take the access of EC system, you can take the access of S4, S4 H system. So now we will understand the difference between these three SAP system. Suppose if you are working in some SAP system, if someone asks you, just tell me what is this system? This is ECC or S4 HANA system. So how you can identify that this is EC system or S4 HANA system or SOX system? Suppose you got the access from the vendor for a SAP system. So how you can check whatever the vendor provided the system, it is EC system or SOX system or S4 X system. So we will compare these three systems and we will understand the difference. Firstly, first most most important point, these three are SAP system. System is in which we work, in which we do the practical as an ABAP consultant. So all these three are SAP systems. So what is this ECC? The full form of ECC is ERP central component. We all know SAP is an ERP. So full form of ECC is ERP central component. It is a central component for the ERP. The full form of SOH is this S stands for SAP business suit. This O is on and this H stands for HANA. SAP business suit on HANA. Then we have this third system. We simply write it as S4H or S slash 4H. And the full form of this is SAP business suit for HANA. You can see in these two systems, the one word difference is here we have on and here we have four. And this one word is itself help us to understand what is the difference between these two, three, between these two systems. So what ECC stands for? ECC stands for ERP central component. SOX stands for SAP business suit on HANA. And S slash 4X stands for SAP business suit for HANA. You can simply write for or you can simply write slash. Now, what is the definition of these three types of SAP system? Now, in ECC system, in ECC system, we always, always have that traditional databases. Traditional databases means we have Oracle database, Cybase database, DB2 database. At the initial level, we covered, yes, SAP is compatible with all the databases. So in ECC system, SAP is using the traditional databases like Oracle, Sybase, DB2. These all databases will be used. Now, what is this SAP business suit on HANA, on HANA? Now, word itself is saying, we have SAP business suit on HANA, on HANA. It means the business suit is using which database? The business suit is using the HANA database, HANA database. Here, we have the traditional databases like Sybase, the DB2, yes, Oracle. Here, we have the databases HANA and word itself is written only the databases HANA database. SAP business suit on HANA means the database is HANA. Now, here the full form is SAP business suit for HANA. For HANA means the complete suit is in HANA, complete suit. It means only the database is not HANA. 
द कंप्लीट सूट इज इन हाना एनी वेज वेन एवर आई विल प्रोसीड यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेयर्स यू ऑल नो वी हैव थ्री लेयर्स वट इज फर्स्ट लेयर प्रेजेंटेशन लेयर एप्लीकेशन लेयर एंड डेटा बेस लेयर नाउ इन ईसी सिस्टम आवर एप्लीकेशन लेयर इज ईसी एंड वट आर द डेटा बेसिस डेटा बेसिस इज और साइबेज DB2 etc. Yes, just now we covered few minutes back. Yes, in ECC system, SAP is using the traditional databases like Oracle, Sybase, DB2. It means your application layer is ECC. But what is the database? Databases are Oracle, Sybase, DB2 etc. Now, in this system. only the database is hana it means application layer is as it is so application layer is ecc only and what is the database database is hana just see the difference between both of them here the databases are traditional databases here the database is hana because word itself is saying sap business suit own hana now here you can see complete suit is in hana Com what is the meaning of complete suit it means application layer is also hana database layer is also hana the complete suit is in hana itself anyways in this video our target is not that we should go into deep understanding of hana but we will understand hana from a little bit perspective so you can understand what actually hana is the full form of hana is high performance analytic appliance high performance analytic appliance just understand whenever you are using the word appliance appliance it means it is not stand alone hardware it is not stand alone software it is combination of both so if someone ask you what is hana is hana is stand alone a software no is hana is stand alone a hardware no it is a appliance it is a combination of both hardware and software anyways i am just whenever we will start a bap on hana we will go for detailed understanding what is hana yes what are the various things in the hana but at this point of time because we are using the terminology sap business suit on hana sap business suit for hana so you can understand the little bit what actually hana is hana is a appliance mint means it is a combination of hardware and software both and it using in memory database technology in memory database technology hana is using in memory database in memory database what do you mean by in memory database it means in the main memory itself we can store the data just simply simply compare you have primary memory you have secondary memory if you have a option to store the data into the main memory or primary memory just see how powerful the performance is just simply simply compare you saved something on to the secondary memory or saved something on the disk whenever you will take it from the disk it always always take time it always take time to fetch but if something is in the main memory how powerful the performance is anyways this is not our target so at this point of time we'll just go for simple understanding that hana is high performance analytic appliance it is not stand alone hardware it is not stand alone software it is combination of both which is using in memory database technology in memory means what in the main memory itself you can store the data if you have a option to store the data in the main memory how powerful the performance is anyways when we start a bap on hana you will get the more more detailed understanding so what is the summary of this video up to this level extremely important video because so many questions will be answered 
into this video and the next video. So in this video, we are comparing three SAP system. What is ECC? ECC stands for ERP Central Component. SOH stands for SAP Business Suit on HANA. And S for X stands for SAP Business Suit for HANA. In the ECC system, we are always, always using the traditional databases like Oracle, Sybase, DB2, because SAP is compatible with all the databases. Now, in this system, only the database is HANA. In this system, the complete suit is in HANA. Word itself is saying on means database is HANA. For means everything is in HANA. Now, if we talk about in terms of layers, you will understand fully. In the EC system, your application layer is ECC. Databases are traditional databases. In case of SAP business suit on HANA, system is your application layer is ECC. Database is HANA. And in this S4X system, application layer is also HANA. Database layer is also HANA. And HANA is a combination of hardware and software. It is just like complete application which has hardware and software both. Yes. And yes, which is it is using in-memory database. In-memory means in the main memory itself, we can store the data. So performance is always, always high. Now, next video is extremely important because just now it talked about, yes, we have application layer, ECC, databases are this. But how we can check in the system if someone is saying you, okay, just tell us what is this type of system. So how you can check what is, where is the products, where is the database. So how you will check. So next is all about this and extremely, extremely important video. Last important point if I want to cover, yes, just simply think this is ECC system having traditional databases. This is also a ECC system, but database is HANA. But whenever HANA comes into picture, we always use the term business suit, business suit. So we are using the term SAP business suit on HANA. In the next video, I will go for this third point. So that's it in this video. Thank you.